Hey guys, get a lot of questions times about where I get my aluminum composite panels and stuff. And, you know, people ask about substrates. What I do is I buy mine from a local supplier in four foot by eight foot sheets and cut it down. It's really easy to cut down. I want to go over that. And why do I do that? Because usually if you go to the art store, it's like 12 bucks or something like that for a 12 by 18 panel and or more. And I get an entire sheet for about 65 bucks the supplier will cut it down for you but they charge like $15 um, and they don't do as good an edge so usually when they cut it they usually get a little bit of a burnt edge over here um, and they're not always quite as accurate um, that's because they're probably cutting it with a panel saw in this particular case but it's really it's not difficult to cut it um, so I get four by eight sheets sometimes like in this case I had to cut it into 24 by 32 inch pieces uh, just so it was easy to pick up because I didn't have my truck and I was needing to pick it up in a car. And then I cut them down from there. Real easy. Let's go through. So you just want to get a straight edge. Come in here, make your measurements, come in with a straight edge. And all you need is a standard utility knife. And you're going to come in here with your straight edge. Make sure you got it held down. It's best if you clamp it. However, um, yeah, I'm just doing this on my table right now real quick. So, and then bring your edge in and start making cuts gently so just score it the first time you're going to drag that blade through you will feel when you penetrate the aluminum layer and start getting into the plastic and when you get into the plastic you can start going a little bit harder with your cut So once you cut into it, it should look something like this. And I'm cut maybe a third of the way through the panel. And then once you have got that score in there, you can just take it, lay it over, and then come over here and push down, snap. Now, in this particular case, normally it will break right off, only I have the protective plastic coating on the other side. So I'll have to remove the protective plastic coating, but often I can just snap it and break it off like that. So if you cut from the back side, this is what I want to point out. If you cut from the back side, the side that you do not cut, the side that you're going to paint on, will now have a perfectly smooth factory finish edge. The back side will have just a little bit of a mushroom on it. It's not a big deal. Usually all I do is take something firm and I will just run it something metallic across it just to knock that edge off of there. And of course, like I said, I decide what side I'm gonna paint on. I have done aluminum grinds on these panels multiple times. I have multiple pieces you guys have seen of that. and. Uh, yeah, now that gives you a perfectly crisp edge and you're ready to go. You can also get these in black. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Just a little quick quick thing and probably save you all some money. Um, you know, people are always asking about ways in which they can save money painting because it gets really expensive if you do a lot of it. And I do, you know, practice panels and stuff on that. I do tutorial panels on these. And yeah, it would be really expensive if I'm not doing it for a customer. Anyway, that's going to be it. That's a wrap. Thanks a lot. If you guys got something out of it, you know, give me a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Probably won't get a lot of views on this, but I was hoping this would help somebody. Y'all have a good one.